Hello everyone, today we are going to review the Mercedes-Benz EQS. One of the most important cars Mercedes has made recently is the EQS, because the platform, engines, batteries and all parts of the car were developed specifically for this car. When you look at the front of the car, you see the LED light stretching across the front, the headlights can illuminate about 600 meters ahead with both digital light and LED matrix feature. The car also has the drive pilot feature, which means it can drive autonomously up to 60 kilometers per hour. When you look at the overall design of the car, you cannot see the imposing S-Class design, in fact, there is a reason for this design, this car has a drag coefficient of 0.20, which makes the Mercedes EQS the most aerodynamic car in the world. If we take the EQS 580 as a basis, the car has 523 horsepower and 855 newton meters of torque and has all-wheel drive front and rear engines, which I will talk about in more detail in a moment. The car has 21-inch wheels, 4-piston brake calipers. One of the most talked about features of the car in the world press is its doors that open and close by themselves, that is, when you approach the car, the doors open and when you sit on the seat and press the brakes, they close by themselves. The battery capacity of the car is 120 kWh, but the usable capacity is 107.8 kWh. You can quickly charge it in about one hour. The range is between 582 and 679 kilometers. There is a full-length LED stop group at the rear of the car as in the front. It has an electric tailgate, the trunk capacity is 610 liters and 1770 liters when you recline the seats. There is one last detail I would like to mention before moving on to the interior of the car. The car has a steerable rear axle. It has rear wheels that can turn up to about 10 degrees, the turning diameter is 10.9 meters, equal to the turning diameter of C-segment cars. When you sit in the back seat of the car, we must say that it has a very spacious interior. The rear seats have seat heating and cooling, and you can also buy a screen as an option, from which you can control all the features of the car. And when you open the center armrest, you are again greeted by a tablet. Another interesting feature of the car is that it has an air purification system that can clean the air of an area the size of 150 football fields. Now let's move to the front. There is a huge 140 cm screen called hyperscreen in the front. 
There is a screen in the passenger side, and it shows all the values of the car. The center console has two USB Type-C ports, two cup holders and large storage areas. There is a very high-quality 710-watt Burmester sound system. It makes you feel like you are in a concert area. The car has 64 different ambient lighting color options, the seats have heating, cooling and massage features. If I talk about the driving characteristics of the car, I must say that it is a very fast car. It can go from 0 to 100 in 4.3 seconds, which is really good for a car weighing 2,510 kilograms. It's a really comfortable car, you don't even feel it when going over potholes or bumps, the air suspension has a great effect on this. Good insulation is one of the details that increase comfort. There are electric motors at the front and rear, specially developed for the EQS. The front motor has 190 horsepower and 287 newton meters of torque, while the rear motor has 333 horsepower and 568 newton meters of torque. The car has regenerative braking, which allows you to drive without braking. When you activate this feature, it can detect the vehicle in front or the curve and brake accordingly. The car has a selling price between 116,000 euros and 200,000 euros in Germany. This is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.